Are crypto's top influencers purposely trying to sabotage the internet computer protocol by leaving it out of their content, out of sight, out of mind? Let's talk about it. And digital payments giant Visa partners with smart media technology to kickstart their first official Web3 loyalty program, leveraging NFTs in the blockchain. Welcome to the Coin Nation show. I'm Preston. Thanks for stopping by. Let's get into it. Greetings, citizens of Coin Nation. Welcome to the show where we talk all things crypto, Web3, and digital assets technology. My goal is to empower as many as I can to gain a competitive edge in this massive incoming wave of adoption. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great day to be in crypto. I say, I say, I say, it's a great day to be in crypto. Let's go ahead and take a look at crypto bubbles. Um, definitely the bears are in significant control over the last few hours a lot of buying opportunities that's how i see it i always see red you buy into the red sell into the green and some great opportunities here are psi uh near protocol definitely icp come on icp marine stand up i made that up icp marines um Let's see. Uh, Osmos is still in the green. That that's a part of the Cosmos IBC ecosystem. It's a decentralized exchange. I think one of the more popular ones. And Cosmos Beam, great buying opportunity. And Render, most certainly good buying opportunity. Let's see how things are looking on the hour. Looks like some things are having a recovery as we speak. A lot of green and a lot of red on the week see how the coin nation portfolio was hit let's take a look at some pain right here uh, how do i get out of this portfolio think out of all of these in the institution portfolio xrp has been taking somewhat of a beating over the last 24 hours chain link as well shake out underway don't be Cool. Don't be deceived out of your bags, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, H bar down, XL in back down. XDC does not do what Stellar does in terms of following suit with XRP. I mean, look how closely these are linked together um, in terms of Stellar and XRP. Let's take a look at the layer one portfolio. I think ICP got hit the hardest, down 10% on the day. Uh, excellent buying opportunity uh, who got hit the second hardest Cardano down uh, 7% and Sui down 10% take a look at I want to see how wild the world is doing okay only down 2% render took a nice hit down 10% and ooh Everdome almost 30% down that sucks Still buying opportunities, guys. We are just getting started. Just getting started. Hey, hey, hey. Switching gears to the headlines. Uh, yo, th this ETF is coming. If I'm wrong, in a week from now, hit me up in the comment section to say, I told you so. You know, if you're an extreme bear and you feel like there's no way this thing's going down and you happen to be right, I will give you your... You know respect on this but just google crypto and look at this bitcoin etf looks very likely given these bureaucratic sec steps the crypto world is ready to take bitcoin etfs to the masses bitcoin etfs are coming fast crypto investing and, and one thing i will put on the record if this bitcoin etf is approved then go ahead and welcome the ethereum etf solana etf and the XRP ETF, and probably even the Cardano ETF. It is inevitable. The train ain't stopping. It's already set in motion. And proof in the pudding is Visa's Web3 loyalty solution, a new era for customer engagement. Um, I'm not gonna read all through this. I'm gonna read this little summary here, but it says uh, Visa has taken a groundbreaking step by announcing its Web3 loyalty solution. This innovative approach is set to revolutionize 
The loyalty landscape offering over 80 million global partners a unique platform to enhance customer engagement and loyalty. This I think is very unique and very significant because you had all these one-off you know, things such as Starbucks, you're leveraging Polygon for their loyalty program. I think Disney is using Flow for their um, <clears throat> NFTs. I think they're like game-based NFTs. But this is a whole new ball game. This is Visa saying, we're gonna create a one-stop shop for over 80 million global partners to leverage the blockchain and not just one blockchain, but multiple blockchains right so now we have interoperability showing up on the scene and leveraging nfts to you know engage with their customers in terms of loyalty this is one of the the major mass adoption signals right that let you know what bull markets on the way and we're entering into an era of institutionalized adoption where these markets are going to get heavyweight and they're going to get hard to move you know, and that's why I really think that this might be one of those <clears throat> groundbreaking opportunities to, to invest pre-institution. You know, once Bitcoin becomes an ETF, now the institutions can offer it to their large clients. You know, right now we have first movers advantage on the retail side because we can we can buy Bitcoin on the blockchain like nothing. But once the ETF is released, you know, I think these markets are going to be massive and more difficult to make gains and also more difficult to move. But on the upside, it's going to be a lot more difficult to manipulate like we saw a couple days ago uh, with that my massive God candle or not really God candle, but scam wick um, from that, you know, fake FUD story from Matrix Port. Uh, let's see what we got. Five things wish. I wish people knew about ICP, that ICP Bitcoin integration has arrived. HTTPS outcalls eliminate oracles. So no need for chain link on ICP. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Fully on chain ICP ecosystem thrives. And ICP has an all star development team and ICP Definity Foundation is not for profit. Good stuff. Like, all right, next up we have IRS is at it again, trying to regulate by enforcement in a manner that makes no sense whatsoever. But new IRS law mandates reporting crypto transfers above $10,000. Do NFTs count? So the point of this article is, is basically saying if I own a Metaverse land NFT and it's worth $20,000, but I don't want to cash out on it. I don't want to, you know, sell. I just want to move it. Do I have to go to the IRS and say, hey, uh, I just moved some sandbox land um, and I'm just letting you know because it's, it's worth like $25,000. This is what happens when you have a country that is so eager to control your every move, you know, financially so desperately that they can't even take the time to get a handle on this new tech and figure out what makes sense. So, uh, welcome to America, guys. Moving along to the gaming and metaverse segment, how Apple's Vision OS can pave the way for mainstream metaverse adoption. Some key takeaways, uh, Apple seem to be omitting using the word metaverse in relation to their uh, VR headset, but the absence of buzzwords like metaverse or AI in Apple's announcement is not indicative of its disinterest or disengagement from future from the future of spatial computing. Uh, the potential value and utility of it is as a device enables new communication avenues, enhances remote work capabilities and unveils novel applications. Skepticism surrounding its value will likely dissipate. Its train is humming. It's funny how tightly controlled you have to be around these particular categories because there's huge upside for retail. There's huge upside in anything that touches the digital asset space. So Apple can't even say the word metaverse, you know, because see big brothers watching, you know, it's uh, pretty sad that that is the state of things. But 
The Vision Pro, for instance, has been designed to redefine human-machine interaction with its intuitive hand and eye tracking technology. Our commitment to bringing Sensorium Galaxy Metaverse and our recently unveiled art platform to Vision Pro testifies to our excitement and readiness to leverage Apple's innovation. I think the question is, is Apple going to create problems for Web3 metaverses to leverage their hardware? Kind of like the App Store, you know, um, and banning of certain apps. But I think this is good stuff. Moving right along to the XRP segment. Uh, personally, I think this is where the XRP army enters into some la la land. But I'll go ahead and I'll bite. Uh, Fox journalist hints to investigate Federal Reserve XRP $30,000 buyback proposal. Uh, says she, uh, this is basically uh, one of the journalists. She mentioned that on her list, she contains a proposal suggesting that the U.S. Federal Reserve could buy back XRP at $30,000 per token. Interestingly, this proposal was presented by um, Jimmy Valley in 2021. I don't, I don't really know who that is. Um, but she says these are some of the things that are on our list to investigate. Uh, the Dow hack and ETH gate are on my list of potential fraud stories to look into this year. Um, she says, as well as a couple of others, others, including the 30K per token Federal Reserve buyback for an asset that's currently trading at 59 cents. I mean, how much sense does that make? Right. I'm going to give you thirty thousand dollars for a asset that's trading at 60 cents. Uh, and, and there are people that really believe this. I mean, I, I don't get it. Maybe, maybe there's something I need to look into myself, but uh, I think the XRP community is dreaming. Uh, but uh, the gentleman that proposed this argued the XRP could become the global reserve currency amid the growing national debt. The theory suggests that the asset could displace the existing financial system, prompting a buyback by major financial institutions in government, such as the Federal Reserve. Personally, I think one guy throws out a theory and XRP Army takes it way too seriously. All right. So the question of the hour, are influencers hiding ICP? Are they doing it intentionally? Is there some under the table, uh, you know, uh, kickback related to this? Is there is there something that we don't see that is causing this to happen? If you just type ICP and influencers in, in X, you get nothing but a ton of people wondering the same thing, you know, because retail. One thing I love about crypto retail does a lot of retail does research a lot of retail can peep out what's happening in the in the uh influencer space and they get real suspicious real quick you know and I mean, just look at some of this these these uh tweets here big influencers still have not respected the pump for now that is uh this is why influencers never talk about it because it makes all of the blockchains useless uh, I see more big influencers starting to mention it because they know they would lose their face when it sits in the top three. Oh, shoot. I need to save this right here. Top ICP influencers by interaction. Let me go ahead and repost that guy. It says, why do you think that top YouTube influencers like Coin Bureau, Altcoin Daily, Bitcoin, BitBoy Crypto, Ivan on Tech, and all these guys listed here? Uh, deliberately deprive their followers from any news on ICP. He's not quite on the mark with BitBoy Crypto. BitBoy has done specials on this and has talked pretty fondly about ICP in the past. So he might need to do a little bit of research, more research on that. But uh, I mean, it, it's it's obvious. People can see, you know, I was watching a uh, crypto banter where they had the uh, Virtual Bacon, Kyle Chasse on there, and uh, Rand, and Virtual Bacon, who's definitely been singing the ICP praises, he brought up ICP, and Kyle Chasse, how do you say his last name, immediately dismissed it. I mean, gave that thing about three seconds of airtime, 
brought up some other project that I believe has some kind of decentralized infrastructure in the Cosmos IBC system and uh, just dismissed it without even a second. And uh, I'm just very suspicious of how they, they do this, but I think I might do my own special to dig a little bit deeper into this. And, uh, but yeah, people are catching on. And uh, I think Jerry Banfield just released a special on this today, but I'm gonna have to check that out. But very suspect, very suspect. That's about all I got today. I really appreciate you stopping by. And if you feel moved to go ahead and like and subscribe, Definitely helps grow the channel. And if I grow, we all grow. And that's what we call network effect. And we could do this crypto journey together. Today's scripture comes from John 14, 1, where it says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. What a wonderful command to, to, to not be troubled. I, I'll take that one. I received that. Um, I want you to go and be in peace and uh, spread those positive vibes throughout the world. Until next week, Citizens out.